Hi everyone, welcome to the session where we will learn about Kfold cross validation by using Kfold function from sklearn.model selection. So, how does it work? Kfold cross validation technique splits the data into train and test data sets into different folds. Like, suppose if the data set is split into k consecutive fold without shuffling by default, there's a parameter shuffle. Okay, and uh, each fold is then used as a validation while k minus 1 remaining folds form the training set. So what does it mean? It means like if I if I have the number of record as 100 and uh, we have the index from 0 to uh, 99 which means the number of records is 100. So the first 20 records from 0 in the very first iteration 1 the first 20 record will be my test Why? whereas from 20 till 99 will be my train data set just for understanding purpose i have shown you because it is divided into number of folds okay the number of folds we have given five so there will be five iterations right then the second iteration what will happen record from the index 20 to for 39 will be my test data set whereas this first third fourth and fifth fold will be my train data set similarly in the third iteration the third fold for which the like record is from the index 40 till 59 will be my test data set and the first second fourth and fifth will be my train data set similarly for in the last iteration first second third fourth fold will be my train data set that is from the record with the index 0 till 79 will be my train data set and the last fold that is record from the index 8 till 99 will be my test data set so this is what i tried to explain here okay there are three there are three parameters used in the uh, k fold cross validation number of split shuffle and the random state the number of split is uh, the number of fold which will be at, at least it should at least be two and uh, from after like uh, the sklearn version 0 0.2 to the default number of fold will change from 3 to 5 again the shuffle parameter the default it is uh, uh, false if you want to do an R&D, uh, then you can make it as true and run the Kfold cross valid. And we know what is random set. For more details on cross validation, please visit the scikit-learn page. I have given the link here. So now I will start my execution of Kfold cross validation. These are the libraries uh, which will use. Uh, so I have already quoted them, and we will see. So what I am doing here, I am importing the uh, NumPy Kfold uh, random classifier, uh, k neighbor classifier, logistic regression and also in accuracy score. Uh, after this, I, I'll just generate a feature with 100 rows and 2 columns followed by I will create my y. So what is my x? x is this 100 rows and 2 columns and y, y is y should also be, y should also be 100 rows, otherwise it will not fall. Okay, so we have our x and y is generated. Now, why I have used this x stack? Okay, just have a look. Uh, it will not take it, it will hardly take 30 to 40 seconds to understand this. Suppose if I have my a is equals to np dot array, and I'll say my a is this, and simply I'll say b is equals to np dot array. My b is this, okay. Now I want to place this 1, 2, 3, 4 and uh, array A and array B parallelly. So what I will do, np.h stack. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, these are being placed parallelly, okay? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is these two arrays are placed parallelly. Why I am I emphasizing on this h stack? Because when I will be showing my uh, visualization of k fold, uh, visualization of stratified k fold, I will be using this. So just wanted to show you this. So now uh, let's start with our where we were. Uh, so the number of split will give five and then we will create our keyboard cross validation uh, object. Okay. After this, we will simply run for train underscore index from our test underscore index in CV dot split and we'll run this. So you can see here whatever I have I was showing trying to show in this uh, visualization like my test data in the very first iteration will be from 0 to 90 you can see here my test data in the very first uh, like visualization from, is from 0 to 19 and my test data will be from 20 to 99 so 20 till 99 so if you take the upper range and the lower range here it will be 20 to 99 similarly in the second iteration my uh, in the second iteration, my test data will be from 20 to 
39 and the train data will zero will be from 0 to 99 0 to 19 and then it will start from 40 to 99 so it is 40 to 99 in the third iteration it will be from 0 to 39 followed by uh, my train will data will be from 0 to 39 and followed by 60 to 99 so it will be my this is my third iteration so it will be 0 to 39 and then followed by 60 99 and my test data will be from 40 to 59 right 40 to 59 similarly let's go and check the last iteration the my train data will be from 0 to 79 right In the last iteration the my train data is from 0 to 79 and my test data is from 80 to 99 so this is how it works okay my k port cross validation this is this is only the index this is not the actual data so if I want to get my actual data, how will I get my actual data? How do you uh, view the actual data? So for that, you will say print So let's execute this So you can see this is my uh, second iteration because this, this space So you can see this in this way our train and test is being divided this is the data this is my index and this is my data right you can see this is how i get my train and test data so let's not take this 100 let's take this as 20 in that case it will be 20 and then now it will be we can visualize this easily okay now it will be visualized very easily so in the very first iteration if you see here 0, 1, 2. Now, if you see 20 divided by number of fold is how many? 4. So, in every fold, we'll have 4 items. Okay. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 items. And these are the like my train data set, test data set. In the second iteration, you can see uh, again we have our train data set and the test data set. Like it is being divided. So, this is how you can easily divide. But now I want to show you, like in my previous video, if you see my uh, this one, these two videos, K fold uh, cross validation using uh, SKLN dot model selection and uh, SKLN dot cross validation, I have shown you, but I have only experimented with the index. I have not shown you how to extract the value of a data set. This part I have shown, and I also did not show you uh, how to get the best score of a model, whether using K, K forest, uh, random forest or KNN or logistic regression. So now I will show you that. So what I will do, we have the T3 classifier, random forest, k neighbors and logistic regression. Okay. What I will do, I will simply import the iris data set from sklearn.data set and then we will proceed with our execution. So what I've done, I've imported the library and also like this is my iris data set which has 150 rows and 4 columns. The feature name or the X will contain sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. Okay, and I have three classes that we will be predicting here. The three classes will be uh, Virginica, Vosicular and Setosa will be my output Y. Okay, so that is what we will be predicting. Okay, this will have some values. So this is my actual values. Now, what we will do now is we have our x and we have our y right so now we will create our i uh, will run a for to for trade underscore index comma test underscore index db dot split uh, after this we'll say so this is my uh, train underscore index okay and if i say x underscore train so this is my train data set okay again if i say uh, total record is uh, how many total records is 150 and i am dividing into five folds right so 30 will be my train data uh, will be my testing and the 80 uh, percent which is 120 record will be for my train after this, so my X train, X is like what we do in cross validation. We have got our X train, Y train, X test, and Y test. After this, we will create our K nearest neighbor. So now what I have done, I have created the object of my uh, uh, three classifier, KNN, uh, random forest classifier, and the logistic regression. After this, 
I when I run the loop at that time itself, I'll fit all this three models. So ENN dot fit. Okay, now I have fit all this uh, three model. After this, what I will do? I will do the prediction. Okay. Okay, so what I have done, I have divided my, uh, like uh, when I am running this loop at the time itself, I am getting my x train x test and then I am fitting my uh, PNN logistic regression and the random forest followed by I am predicting for all the three models and then I am also uh, printing the accuracy what I will get in each iteration. So let execute this and we will see what happens. Okay, so what we have done, we have created our uh, logistic regression KNN and the random forest uh, classifier. After that, we have fit and predicted and we have ran the uh, follow for, uh, in for the cross validation split. So we can see what happens here. Our accuracy in the first iteration, okay. In the first iteration for all the three, my accuracy is one. Again, in the second iteration also, my accuracy is one. But from the third, fourth, fifth iteration, you can see my accuracy is changing. So, okay. So, what we can do, we can further get the accuracies in a list and then we will get the mean of all the accuracy for all the classifier. So, what we will do, we will say we will say it as empty list. Similarly, we will say random forest classifier underscore uh, score followed by logistic regression okay then what we'll do after this with every iteration we will append this score okay and what we will pass here our So now when we run this uh, code, what will happen? Our uh, data set, our model will be tested for five different uh, fold of cross validation and uh, then we will get the accuracy in each fold. We will append it to our list for the list which we have created separately for each model. And then we will, after that we will, uh, we will monitor and we will get the mean of each score. So let's start. It's the same, right? Now what we will do, what is KNN? So you can see there are five accuracies, right? One, one, uh, this is 100%, okay? After that is start to decrease. So what you do, NP dot mean. So you see, the, the average accuracy for KNN model is 90.66. Similarly, what we will do, we will for random forest classifier, what is my score, okay? So it is, it is like, again, the, we have the Z11, 0 0.86, 0 0.93, we'll get the mean, and we thought mean, and we'll get the, uh, we'll get the RFC underscore. So 0 0.90, 0 0.66 is also the uh, same. For logistic regression, what is my mean score? It is 0 0.92. So let's print this, okay? What is my Okay, so you can see here my score, uh, like the mean score for KNN is 0 0.90, 0 0.906 for random forest, it's 0 0.906, but for logistic regression is 0 0.926. So you can see here, and even I have printed the uh, stepwise accuracy of the each step. Okay, so this is how we will 
do a k fold cross validation k fold function from sqln dot model selection one more thing what is the biggest advantage of k fold is imbalanced data set is the biggest issue if we have two classes and if it is not satisfied properly then we have the issue so in order to solve this stratify k fold we, we will use stratify k fold that will uh, resolve the imbalanced data set issue of the k fold cross value so that i will be coming up in my later video the next video I, that will be tomorrow i will uh, present uh, i will show you how to visualize the k fold cross validation using matplot so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and i will see you in my next video that will be related to visualization of k fold thank you